don't even know where to begin with how life-changing this experience has been. I've definitely fallen in love with peace. We fight one another. People get killed on both sides of the border. Israel, they have one claim to Palestine. Christians have a claim to Palestine. Muslims have a claim to That's a never-ending debate. For some, someone's ideal notion of Jews and Palestinians living in harmony. It's not going to happen. We have to do something. We cannot just remain silent when we see something wrong. I'm enjoying being here, being here and learning, like a learning experience, but it's not like the same enjoyment you get from being on a vacation. It's enlightenment, and enlightenment is always work. I had no idea what was actually going on here. Being on the ground is totally different than learning it out of a book. So every person we meet, try to sympathize with them, try to hear their perspective, know that they're, they're not just an Israeli or a Palestinian, they're a father, a brother, a sister, and that there is that inherent goodness and trust and belief in humanity. There's two narratives. Arguably, both narratives are correct, and it makes it harder for them to be able to be compassionate for the other narrative, and, and that creates more unrest. Different stories are emphasized, different dates are emphasized, different statistics are emphasized, especially. The Palestinians need the pride to have our own state. If I believe that the Jewish people have a right to live here in Hebron. The narrative of the Palestinian position is that Palestine is a country that goes back thousands of years. I mean, all this is, is intellectual nonsense. How do I take both sides, how do I hear both narratives, and then figure out what is the truth? It takes so much mental capacity to find a solution. To combine uh, an interfaith dialogue and use religion as a tool for the promotion of peace. We want you to engage in pro-peace work. And that means pro-peace means human rights, means equal rights, nonviolence, as this pure, holistic way of living, dealing with everything. I also believe in a two-state solution, the only route to justice. It's been a very gradual transition from the idea of being the person who can come in and change everybody's minds to what can I do on a daily basis to promote the things that are important to me. We're here to make a difference, and we definitely can. No one back home gets this. Like the news, the media, no one shares this, this side of the story. So it's up to us to do it. Because a lot of people think that politics and money are what empower a person. But to really believe that love empowers you beyond all other means, that's a, that's a motivating factor.